this time I have a review for Montage. It's a screenwriting or screenplay writing piece of software for Mac. I'm using the latest version at the time I'm making this review, which is 1.5.4. It is available on the Mac App Store as well as directly from them. Now let's have a look at preferences first. You can put in your serial number, select the backup folder. You can select to check for updates on the startup of the software or not. When the program opens, do you want to open it with an untitled document or your last open document? What do you want the default template style to be, such as BBC Film or blank? Some printing options here. Editor options such as show ruler and check spelling as you type. Text color, background color. Full screen uh, options for when you're in full screen mode. Status and keywords. Now down the left side panel here, we have script, which is your main workspace which is where you type and format your screenplay. Here is an example, which you can get to from help, tutorial. You then have a break breakdown of the various scenes. You then have a way to outline your screenplay, work with characters, including adding images for them as well, various locations, research, any research you've done in preparation for writing this, such as if it's about, say it's a, some sort of psychological thriller, maybe you re, uh, looked into some psychology elements that might be useful, you can put it down here. You then have tasks, you have contact information for agencies, things like that. You then have a synopsis, so if you want to put a synopsis down for, what say, what your screenplay is about. You then have query letters, so you can create various query letters here to say agents or producers. You can then also create various keyword, uh, various keyword search categories here. Now, you can also, which isn't listed here at the moment, but you can also have a title page as well and edit it from one of the options here. I'll show you that later. Now, from the main toolbar up here, we have saves so you can quickly hit save you can of course use command s which would probably be command uh, control s on windows or you can go to file save you then can insert remove bold italic underline or uppercase we then have split the scene add keyword from here or enter full screen you can hit escape to exit we then have keywords from here as well so you can go plus Create a smart view from here, and you can see it's been added to the sidebar. You also have some other options such as add smart view, add view, or remove view from down here. Here you can see how many pages is in your document, such as one to six here. And if we go and select, say, this element here, this is a scene heading, also known as a slug line. Well, you can see down here. Whoops. You can see down here that it says scene heading. Now if that's wrong and it was actually a character, we can select it from here and change it to a character instead of a scene heading. Or we can go and change it to dialogue. Or a transition. Or, but in this case it is a scene heading. So we can select it from there. You can also do this quite easily using a few basic shortcuts. In fact, you can probably format your entire screenplay using just a couple of quick shortcuts on your keyboard if you can try to remember them. So let's go here to format and I'll show you. If you want to quickly start typing as action, you can hit command two, probably a control two on Windows. Char to change the element into character, it's command three, dialogue command five, scene heading, command one and there's other options here as well you can also go here to the bottom left and change your type of view at the moment it's at 100 percent you can make it smaller or you can make it much bigger let's go back to 100 percent now let's have a look at the menu up the top from Montage, we can get to about information, check for updates, buy it if you haven't already bought it, and look at preferences. 
I should mention that there is a trial version, a free trial that you can download from their website. File, you can get to new here or new from a template such as a BBC drama, a BBC film, a BBC sitcom, just a blank document, a comic book even, a musical, a screenplay and various types of screenplay including a a Warner Brothers screenplay or colour coded. There's then also stage play and a TV drama or TV sitcom. I think it's really good that they have BBC film and BBC drama ones listed as well as your standard sort of American, maybe American ones like screen play Warner Brothers. You can manage templates here, such as deleting some or renaming them. You can export, save, go to document properties here, save as a template and your standard print and page setup here. Let's have a look at document properties. Here you can adjust your elements such as your character and action elements. You can also go to some printing options and you can tell it to print a title page. If you want a title page you have to make sure it's ticked here. You can also tick or untick a header that being like the top right of your pages and you can tell it by typing, let me show you. Oops. Type in this, then P, then on page one it will say one, on page two it will say two. Page count and title here as well, and margins for the top and bottom. You then have completions for internal, external, for camera locations, transitions, and times. Let's close this. Now what about importing and exporting? What formats does it support? Let's take a look at import. Okay, you can import and select from here the type of template you want to use when you import. So it's very, very basic and standard import options here. Now let's take a look at export. It's very simple here. We can export as an RTF which is a rich, rich text document, as either Microsoft Apple style. We also have a Microsoft Word doc, which you'll know from Microsoft Word if you're familiar with that program on Windows or even Mac. There, it's also the two options you'll probably most want to use, apart from doc. You have PDF and FDR. Now, a PDF is the one you're probably going to use the most when you send it to people. If you're sending this to somebody like an agency, they're probably going to say that they want to have the script sent as a PDF, a portable doc format, or a final draft document. And final draft is another program for writing screenplays. It's an industry standard, but it is about 150 to 180 pounds in the UK, and I think it's 200 to 250 dollars in the US. This program montage costs just 30 dollars, or around about 22 or 23 pounds in the UK. So final draft, even though it's industry standard, is not going to be for everybody because of the price but you can export as a real uh, as a final draft document from this program which is good because some agencies and things may not want pdf they may want final draft so you and um, so you're not stuck if that happens you can export as final draft from this program however the one thing i have noticed about this is that it will export as a final draft.fdr, which is apparently an older final draft format. Newer final draft copies use FDX, and it doesn't look like Montage supports FDX. So I would recommend in a future version of Montage, they don't take away this option, FDR, because it's good for backwards compatibility, but I do think they should add the, another option underneath for final draft.fdr, FDX. Then you have a few other options here, but you're most likely going to be working with FDR, PDF, and DOC. Then the edit menu is pretty standard edit menu. View is pretty standard. You can get to all the options here, here as well, all with shortcuts. You can split horizontally and vertically the view. You can add a new smart view from here. Show, hide, ruler, and annotation drawer. Hide and customize the toolbar. Fade the window and full screen. 
Insert, you can insert a new scene, remove a scene, duplicate a scene, split the current scene view, add a keyword, annotation, remove an annotation or hide annotation marks. Format is where you can get your format in, such as action, character, dialogue, but you can also do it through shortcuts or through this menu down here. You can show your font, various fonts to select. You can do bold, italic, underline. However, with fonts, you probably gotta want to stick to cur courier. You can also make the text all uppercase, lowercase, or sentence case. We can then go to production and add scene number. So for example, here we have a scene with no scene number. Let's click this. You get some options here. Let's just hit okay. Now, as you can see, the scenes are numbered one here then you can see here one on there let's find another scene well in fact I think this tutorial is made up of one big scene so I don't think no there's not another one but uh, wherever you have your scene head ends you will have one and then the next one will be two and three and so on window is very standard and from help you can get to a help document, which is very bare bones. There isn't much to it, to be honest. There's a user guide. There's a tutorial, which is this document here I already have open. Then there's a PDF you can read called How to Format Your Screenplay Like a Pro. And that I have read myself, and it is very interesting. I recommend if you get this program, you give that a read. You then have information about copywriting your script. You can register your script, so it takes you to websites such as the Scre uh, Screenwriters Guild, West, East, or a UK agency. And the West one here at the top is the main script registry. You can get, then go to their shop to buy this program. This here, I script your script, is a service that no longer seems to be about. If you click on this, it will take you to a dead website. Then you have buy montage, check for updates, or report a bug if you're having problems. So what do I think of this program? I think it's great because it's a very full-featured screenplay writing program yet it costs $30 compared with final draft which is a minimum of $200 yet you can export as final draft documents you can also export as other documents such as doc and pdf it's really quick and easy to use I have just written a short film myself from scratch in montage I haven't finished it it's only really a first draft I finished it but it's uh, probably going to need a lot of changing, but still, I have managed to write a whole short film of about nine pages long in this using using nothing but the shortcuts of Apple um, Command Three, Command Five, Command Two, and one one or two of the others. Also, one thing I will show you quickly here is this is formatted as a BBC film we can go to format change template and we can change our screenplay even though we may have written the whole thing we can change it anytime to another format so let's say well this isn't we don't want it to be a bbc film anymore we want it to be a bbc sitcom but we also want it color coded let's click this apply and template changes there you go all the text is still there we haven't lost any other written text but it's changed to a new format we can then go format change template and change it to instead say a screenplay Warner Brothers very handy so what changes does it need what new features well even though it's on the Mac App Store it hasn't actually had an update as far as I can tell since 2011 which is a pity because it's a great program, although it still works, I should note, on the latest version. I'm running at the moment OS 10, 10.10.3 Yosemite, and it works fine. But it needs support for FDX, Final Draft's new format. It also, I believe, needs to have support. Well, it doesn't have to have it, but I would like to see support for Fountain.io, which is a plain text syntax that a lot of other screenwriting programs now use. There is also one very, very basic feature, but it's one that things like Final Draft and Celtix have, which is lacking in this, which is quite surprising. Under Format Element, there's one I'd like to see here called Dual Dialogue. It's like dialogue, but if you have two people overlapping and they're talking to each other over the top of each other, 
you would normally in say Celtic select the two dialogues, the to two people are talking be, uh, underneath each other. You'd have it just normal one after the other here, but you drag and select the lot of it, then you'd select dual dialogue, and it would place them sort of horizontally side by side automatically and have it formatted. Well, Celtics can do that, and so can Final Draft, I believe, but it, there's no option for dual dialogue in Montage yet. So that's a summary. Here's a quick summary of what I'd like to see. FDX, Final Draft Format, support on export. I would also like to see uh, dual dialogue support and fountain.io format support. Plus, actually, just one small change. When you print, you can print the cover page with it. But when you export as, say, a PDF, it doesn't include the cover page. So that is another change. But apart from that, it's definitely worth getting. Or at least, if nothing else, I recommend you go to their website. I'll put a link in the description and download the trial and see what you think for yourself. But I do recommend it. I think it's very good for the price. And if you could like and comment on this video, and if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe, it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.